What's up everyone? This is Steve from Supermods Tech and today I'm going to show you guys how to safely remove a touch bar from a donor unit without damaging it. That's right. I'm going to show you guys the method that I use to safely get the touch bar out without damaging it. So the first thing we need to do here is make sure that you have your unit completely stripped, okay? So I'm going to finish stripping this by just taking the fan out, okay? I really don't care about this machine at all because this is just basically a donor machine. I do not need it. The keyboard is no good. So the keyboard had water damage, so that's why I know the keyboard is no good, but the touch bar display is still functional. So what we want to do is get this out and safely remove it without breaking it. So I'm gonna remove this fan assembly out, which is a, pretty much the last thing here. All right, let me disconnect this thing here. All right, let's get this fan out. So now the fan is out. Now over here, there's some touch bar components that you, know, you need to unplug here because this connector actually unplugs here, wraps around, and then this part, you know, comes up and it's just pretty weird how they did it, but it's okay. I'm going to show you guys how to take that out. And once we get that nice and free and loose, then we'll start on the process in removing the touch bar assembly. So what we're going to do now is just remove these two screws here. They're like um, pentalobe tools, the same, the same size screws you would use for the iPhone to take off the iPhone screens assembly. That's what they use here. And as you can see here, after we unplug this and pull this, this assembly now comes down and out, all right? So this part here is just a flex cable that connects to the logic board, all right? So you just wanna get that out of your way so everything is nice and cool, all right? So now you have two connectors here. They're both connected to the touch bar, as you can see here. So we have this one here, and then we have this one. So what do we wanna do is we wanna just make sure these are loose and free before we start the process of taking the touch bar out, okay? Take the use on these things, man, so strong. All right, there we go. So now the connections are free because we're gonna need to slide this out through here after everything is done. So remember, you wanna completely strip your machine down. You don't wanna leave no fans, nothing in the way, okay? So the next thing you have to do, of course, is to remove your power button which we have already done here because this is a donor board. So now that the power button is removed, we don't need to you know, worry about this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our heat gun. And I have a special heat gun here. I actually have a snap-on heat gun. So what I, I set this to six, all right? Cause it goes all the way up to seven, but don't fear. We're not gonna heat this side of the touch bar at all. We are going to heat up the side the back of the unit, which is where the adhesive is. And you have to think, this is where we use a little logic here. So this is aluminum, all right? The home, all the MacBooks are built out of aluminum. So if we put heat on the aluminum, the aluminum is gonna absorb all the heat and heat up the unit and soften the tape so that we're able to get my pry tool that I have here and start you know, working the touch bar out without breaking it because it's gonna the glue, the tape adhesive is gonna be so soft from heating it up with the heat gun that it's gonna just like be melting away and you're not putting any pressure on the touch bar at all. So I'm gonna show you guys how it's done here, all right? So you might get some noise. And what I like to do now is just go like this, back and forth, you're not staying in one area. Just want to keep warming it up nice and neat. Back and forth. And we're going to keep doing this for about maybe two minutes until it's nice and warm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to work from one side of the touch bar over to the other. But we want to make sure the aluminum itself starts absorbing the heat because you don't want you don't want it to be in one spot. You want it to be completely displaced evenly. All right? So we're not 
holding it in one spot, we're going back and forth, heating it up, and then once it gets nice and warm, you're going to see, it's just going to come out nice and easy. And then if it gets stuck and you feel it getting stuck, you just turn the heat gun back on and go ahead. So now the trick is, I'm using a silicone mat here, and you know, we're not heating the touch bar itself, only heating the adhesive because the aluminum is what's taking all the heat, okay? So we're gonna keep doing that. Do it for about 30 seconds more. Back and forth. All right. All right, we're gonna give it a shot now, all right? So we're gonna give this a shot. You don't have to rush because believe me, it'll stay warm, all right? And what you want to do is you want to really look and you want to get underneath the touch bar, right? You want to take your time. There's no rush. All right. And once that heat, that adhesive starts melting, you see, I don't, I don't feel we're hot enough because it's not, you know, it's not pulling away. So we're going to go ahead and throw some more heat. Remember, you want to get this thing nice and warm. It's no rush. Take your time. Once we get it warm enough, it'll start coming off nice and easy. All right? We don't want to rush. Just take your time. This is a donor board, so you have these little plastics melting. I really don't care about it. If you if you are going to use your device, you know, if the one you're taking it off, you want to make sure you peel those tapes off before you start using the heat because the heat will melt everything, all right? So I'll give you an example. We'll just... This shit already hot, all right? All right, so you just want to peel those tapes off, get them out of your way, and start heating your assembly. All right, so we're going to continue here. More heat. Remember, the key here is patience. You're not going to rush this job. You have to take your time, okay? And I guarantee you this will come out very smoothly and it will come out undamaged, all right? All right, you see my tool starting to slide underneath? That's all you need. And if you feel it getting hard in any way, like it's getting, like it's not, it's not moving, because now here's a trick, right? Touch bar is flexible. All right, you just keep going if it gets stiff. All right, you see? Timeless motion. It's not going anywhere, it's nice and hot. If you feel resistance, you stop, all right? Because you don't want to crack it. As you can see, we have not cracked it. It's still in one piece, all right? Now we're gonna go ahead and heat the other side up. We're gonna keep some heat over here so that the rest of it will slide up nice and easy. That's all you have to do. It's all about patience. Don't rush the job. Don't be in a haze. Just take your time. You know, you could probably use fishing line. I don't have any fishing line. And you could probably, once you get it under there, you could just, you know, peel it out nice and easy, but I don't have any fishing line. So we're doing it this way just to show you that it is doable and we could get this thing out without any damage, all right? All right, all right, good. So now we're gonna go ahead one more time. We're gonna flip this around. Remember, our touch bar is already loose and free, okay? So you wanna, the buttons will kind of be in your way. Don't worry about it, all right? That's it, just take your time, no rush. All right, and that's it. Touch bar is up. And as you can see, it's undamaged, okay? Because that's the crystal underneath. And all we need to do now is just fish it out very gently, nice and easy. This thing is still hot. There we go. Let's get it out here. Once we fish that out, you want to make sure you don't bend it too hard. And as you can see, it's out, all right? 
Now, don't mind all of this. This is just adhesive. You could go ahead and wipe that off. That's just the adhesive. But as you could see here, that the tape is, it's, it's no, it's, once it's warm enough, it's not holding anything. It's, it's free. So it comes up very easy, undamaged, uncracked. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll try to give you as much as videos as I can. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.